Greetings. Wow is not only one. This video is a response to VHeart's work in introducing Wow to the common sphere. V's vocal fry sets my heart to flutter, but I think she could have done something a bit more interesting with Wow. Let's start with one of her definitions of Wow. What we're going to do is we're going to write Wow to the power of pi, to the power of Wow to the power of 2 pi, and so forth until we finish up off the page. And we'll equate that to wow times the square root of wow times the cube root of wow, and so forth. And as we can see, setting wow equal 1 solves this. Um, what about if we set wow equal 0? Wow to the 2 pi is 1, pi to the 1 is pi, and then 0 to the 1 is again going to be 0, and then 0 on the right side. So 0 is also clearly a valid solution. Now this would lead us to define not wow, but wow z. Wow z. Yeah, exactly. Z maybe could be an indication of the integers. Now your math teacher might say that a good place to start with functions is to start with a quadratic, but quadratics are boring. They'll tell you about graphs, and you know what? Graphs are even more boring. But okay, hold on just a second. Let's see if we can use it anyway. Um, one way that we can find two different values for a single function is to simply uh, have the same value of y, but different values of x. So we can block those points, find the lines, and then what you could do is maybe use your grade school algebra to, to try to figure out the points, and the points are in fact uh, x equals 0 and y, and we can use this equation x squared minus x, uh, which has solutions wow. Next, let's consider wow factorial. Uh, wow factorial uh, is going to be wow times wow minus 1 times wow minus 2 times wow minus 3 all the way down to 1. Uh, 0 factorial is going to be, I guess, 1, someone told me that once, and 1 factorial, of course, is going to be uh, 1 as well. So uh, while factorial, uh, if that's equal to 1, then wow could be either 0 or 1. So I have another definition of wow. And if e to the tau i wow equals 1, then wow equals the integers, baby. Yeah. And sine of tau x over 4 equals x. That's solved by, yep, you guessed it. Wow. All right, so one thing that we could do now is we could take um, 0 divided by 1 plus, and then I keep doing this expansion here, um, and then this will also give us a wow. But really what's happening is we're just hiding either a 0 or 1 on the infinitest term up there on the top, and if it's going to be 0, all those on the top are going to be 0, and 1. It, it's a sneaky thing to do. Um, wow choose wow is going to be 1, but that's not too surprising, because wow factorial is 1. It just comes from our definition of this choose function. Our physics example will be Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger has a cat, puts it in a box, attaches a device, it gives a 50-50 chance of killing the cat. How many living cats does he have? It's not 50-50. He either has one cat or zero cats. Fortunately, he was nice enough to put some holes in the uh, box for the cat, and I guess uh, the cat's still alive because it's making sounds. It also seems to be a little bit of a smarter big cat than is typical in the felon world these days. Next up, we're going to draw a rectangle, but this one was pretty poorly drawn because it looks like people are escaping from it. Okay, we'll fix it up just a little bit. The sides will be x and y. It looks like the ratio of the two sides, that'll be wow. Right, the golden ratio would be uh, something like this. Now, if we re rotate this rectangle, which is not even really a rectangle unless you're a mathematician, and we overlap it with the original rectangle, the overlap is going to be wow. Wow. Beautiful stuff. Okay. So next up, we're going to draw one straight line, and it's going off infinitely far in both directions, and another straight line. The number of times those two lines will intersect is wow. Beautiful stuff. Take some variable x. We're going to take that x, the power x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the limit as x approaches wow. What is that equal to? It's going to be equal to 1, right? Uh, if x is 1, then it's obviously true. If it's 0, what is 0 to 0? Well, that's not legally something that we can do. It's illegal. We're not going to be able to do that. However, because it's the limit, it's okay. Consider this. Wow to the power of anything is going to be wow. Because 0 to the power of anything is 0. 1 to the power of anything is 1. As long as that anything isn't a 0. 0 is not allowed. That would be illegal. Right? Um, so we can convert that from the exponential form into a log form, which is log base wow. Wow is going to be anything, or maybe everything. Right? And is this something that we can legally do? Well, let's just, just forget about it. V Hart is the most awesome person in the world today. Her wow, a thinly disguised one, is pretty cool, and we sometimes need to be reminded of the beauty of that number. By expanding our scope slightly, wow can be more than just a masquerade. It can be a reminder of the foundational importance of uniqueness in mathematics. I alluded to wow z being the set of all the integers, rather than just 0 or 1, as it was in many of my examples. What definitions can you provide for wow? Well? 